This tutorial covers the main steps of setting up your Serta Motion Custom 2 divided keying base. To begin, clear a path to the desired setup location prior to moving the base. For safety reasons, keep the base in the box while moving it and always use two people at all times while carrying to avoid injury. Remove all tape and binding straps. Be careful not to puncture the box with any sharp objects. Once you open the boxes, you will find everything you need to set up your new adjustable base. Please refer to the provided instruction guide for detailed step-by-step -step instructions. For installation, you will need the following supplied items. Two large C-clamps with four long bolts, washers, and nuts. Two long brackets, eight short bolts, washers, and nuts. One 13mm wrench and one 6mm hex wrench. Begin with the head section of the divided king base. Lay the box down with the top facing up. Remove the base and lay it on the floor. Lay the foot section box down with the top facing up. Remove all boxes and accessories from the frame of the bed. It may be easier to cut the tape on the sides of the box in order to slide the base out. Step 1. Push and align the head and foot sections together. Make sure to align both brackets for each side. Step 2. Loosely connect the head and the foot sections together using two short bolts, nuts, and washers. The connection points are marked here in red. Step 2 continued. Install the long clamps using three short bolts, nuts, and washers. Refer to figure B in the quick installation guide for bracket and bolt placement. Please note that only three of the four holes are used per bracket. Repeat for both sides. Step 2 continued. Secure the large C-clamps on the outer edges of the base using two long bolts, washers, and nuts. Repeat for both sides. To complete step two, fasten the loosely connected bolts, nuts, and washers using the supplied tools. Step three, unpack and install the head and foot motors. The head motor is the larger of the two. Remove the cotter pin and pull out the clevis pin. Place both ends of the motor into the appropriate bracket and make sure the green bushings go outside of the metal mounting bracket. Secure by reinserting the cotter pin. Step 4. Attach the legs by screwing them into the bolts at the center connection points and all four corners. Screw in and hand tighten only. Step 5. Locate and connect motor cables and lighting cable into the labeled control box ports. Make sure each component is plugged into the correct labeled port on the control box.
Carefully flip the base over onto legs and connect the base to a working power source. A surge protector is recommended. Setup is now complete.